Hello everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So I've got this, and this is a battered hard drive that no longer works. So, I've got an idea for this, and what I want to do is turn it into a clock. So, let's go take a look. <clears throat> so the first thing that we've got to do is dismantle the hard drive, and I'm not going to go too in depth with it because I've done this before, but you undo the screws on the front, this panel lifts off, and now here are the contents of the hard drive. So there's a magnet here which is usually held down by three screws, you undo that, and then this neo magnet just pops out like so, and now this reading arm is much more movable. So there's this little piece here which is usually held down by three torque screws, you undo that, take that off, and now this actually frees up the disc. And we can take this out like so. And now here's the really cool bit. So there is no screws that are holding this motor down. So what we've got to do is take it over to the vise, give it a big whack on the back, and it should just drop out. And give it a whack. And it just drops out as easy as that. With a little bit of persuasion, with a little lever tool like this, we're able to get the coils of the motor out. And now we don't need these, so just chuck them in the bin. So here are all the parts that we're going to keep, and we actually don't need to keep the motor at all. So my idea was to grab a hole saw, cut it out from the front, and then what we can do is actually seat this clock mechanism right there. And then just to make sure that it looks really clean, I'm going to keep this front panel because it actually fits really nicely on the back and the screw holes line up. So it's just going to keep it nice and tidy. So let's get this cut out. And there you have it, that is what the aluminium casing looks like now I've got the hole cut out. This actually took me a little while, but I got there in the end. So now it's time to actually assemble this to make a clock. Right, so I'm going to move the camera over and let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our casing and just lay it flat against the front panel of the hard drive. Then we want to grab our clock mechanism and just make sure that it's sitting centred. Like... So, and we can test this by grabbing our disc and just slipping it over the top. Yep, that's pretty centre, so we're just going to glue that down. And there you have it, the clock mechanism is now sitting properly, the back panel is now screwed in, so now it is time to put our little disky thing in. Just like so, then we can bring this back round to hold it. Lovely jubbly. And there we go, our motor mount is sitting perfectly, so now let's attach our clock hands. <laughs> Would you take a look at that? I am absolutely in love with this, and this is what it looks like when it's finished. How funky is that? I'm so glad that this is finished now, and I can't wait to go hang this up by my desk. With that being said, this does bring me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.